Welcome back. Today, members of our community feasted on Filipino food without utensils, but it's more than that. Gabriela Becerra shares how for the first time the Philippine American Association is exposing Madison to Filipino culture. I'm, I'm just stuck right now. Yeah. <laughs> Flo Anasetti explains what a Kamayan feast is best. Kamayan, uh, eat with your hands, right? And, and back home when I was growing up, we used to do this. And I miss it so much. I miss it so much. Kamayan feasts are tradition in Filipino culture, but here, not so much. With limited opportunity and no Filipino restaurants in Madison, the Philippine American Association wanted to change that. It means a lot, especially for us, because my family is Filipino. So, you know, being able to bring our culture and introduce it to people in Madison where you really can't find it means a ton. <laughs> Sayak says there needs to be more of this. The Filipino culture is very loving. We're very, you know, we embrace everything, right? So to see that is very natural <laughs> around the table at, at a home. And for Anasetti, it's all about bringing cultures together. It's, I'm so proud of, the, of my own culture, you know, and so America also. I'm Gabriela Becerra, News 3 Now. World of Beer says they are hoping to host more events like this one and even have Filipino food on the menu in the future.